So what I plan on doing is I'm going to just glue these together to make larger panels. And I'm using my uh, my unassembled pool table slate top as a flat reference surface. And uh, I'm going to glue them. I'm going to use a little tape to protect the, 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 the tabletop from the glue. And I've got some clamps here. This is my makeshift workspace until I get my real shop taken care of, which may be a while. So, and a lot of this work that I'm doing and a lot of these tools that I'm using are just what I can find. So, it's going to be a common theme over the next couple weeks. Okay, so I've had to get creative with uh, this build because none of my big power tools are set up. I don't even have power out to my shop yet. So I'll be doing this mostly with uh, small, you know, smaller tools like circular saws and, and drills instead of my table saw and my drill press. Um, first cut I have to make is I've got to make um, this dimension here. 11 and a quarter. I'm going to rip both boards to that dimension um, and then we'll go from there. I didn't realize today is supposed to be the coldest day of the year. It feels like it. I'll give you an idea of what I'm doing here. This stool is going to be tapered a little bit from top to bottom just to make it a little bit more stable. So I'm, I've marked two lines and that's where I'm going to put my fence so I can make the cuts and so down here it's 15 and a half inches and then on the top it's going to be like uh, 13 and a half inches so uh, basically I'm just cutting in an inch from either edge on the top maybe confusing because I'm showing you this upside down but I'm not sure you can see those lines anyway anyway that's going to be the first set of cuts I make on my blank and then uh, I'll go back and we'll move on to the next thing
All right, so here is everything laid out. Um, I plan on just making one and then using the router to make copies. Um, so just I got a nice high arch for the legs. Got a section cut out, so it's going to be a two-step stool, as you can see. And um, I'm go I've got some other marks here that are just going to help me guide the circular saw, since I'm using the circular saw to cut it out. And I wish I could find my Forstner bits so I could take out these this corner here, but I'm going to have to use my jigsaw to do that. So let me get started here. starting to get an idea of the, the shape of the side of this thing. You know these Harbor Freight clamps? They're 12 inch clamps. I got them for a buck ninety nine on sale. They're great except for the release. Everything about these are an improvement over the previous uh, iterations of the quick grip clamps. But man, this uh, this little release here really once once the clamps under a ton of pressure, this release is very difficult to operate. So that's what the bench is going to look like on the, from the side. We have a step here, and we're going to have a step actually inset in here, and they'll both be exactly six inches, one from the other. I got to fine tune this curve and this curve now, and round over this corner. I think I'm going to dig out my spindle sander. I'll be right back. these things go I get to the very end of this operation and I end up having a blowout so as you can see I had to make a repair and I mean it makes sense when you look how this is built so you have this small piece here and here and it's long grain and so it's very susceptible to splitting and not to mention that it's poplar and it's pretty brittle. I plan on reinforcing this during assembly um, so it should help make it stronger and uh, so we'll have to see how that works out but now I have to finish routing this profile and then I'll be done with the pattern routing. Okay so now I've got all my pieces cut and dimensioned and rounded over and sanded and everything. 
I'm going to first put these stools together with glue and um, pocket holes and then I'm going to follow up with some dowels to kind of reinforce the stress points. As you can see the shop area is far from being organized or set up or anything. As a matter of fact I'm using an old World War II foot locker as a makeshift workbench. Probably not the best use of an antique like that. Anyway, more to come. Well, I ended up having to give up on the idea of uh, reinforcing my joints with dowels because I couldn't find a good combination <clears throat> of drill bit and dowel that would fit. And it just started to be time consuming and I've tested these stools out myself with just the pocket screws and the glue and they seem pretty sturdy. My customer does understand also that if anything breaks she can bring it back to me and I can fix it for her. So here's the finished product. I've got some non-slip feet on the underside there and it's a two-step stool, six inches between each step. Uh, they were a lot of fun to build. Uh, it'd be even more fun if I had a shop to build them in, but that's coming up soon. Thanks for uh, checking this out, and I hope to see you guys next time.